running. Dead. There he is, blood, gore, intense, violent, nudity. Just want to make sure my audio is okay. Hey everyone, hey. welcome back to another tabletop adventure here at Digital Woods. Today we got a 750 point game of Astra Militarum versus Orcs. And we're gonna go jump straight into the armies and get to the action as quick as possible. See you in a bit. Alright, so here's going to be my 747 points of orcs. I'll be running them in a vanguard detachment, and their culture is going to be evil sons for this one. So, starting off with my HQ, it's going to be a weird boy, as I have no other HQs at the moment. Uh, his warlord trait is going to be uh, Follow Me Lads. His psychic powers are going to be Warpath and the Jump. Uh, next is going to be my pain boy who's just going to be bringing his Power Claw and his standard Erty Syringe. Uh, after that is going to be a group of three Mega Knobs, all kitted out exactly the same, with combi weapons with Scorches, Power Claws, and that's it for them. Next, onto a group of 24 boys, all with Sluggachapas, and their one uh, knob in the group uh, has a Power Claw. Uh, next down the line to uh, help move stuff around is going to be a truck. It's going to be kitted out with a wrecking ball, a big shooter, and a stick bomb chucka. Up next is going to be the knobs on war bikes kitted out with their standard uh, two Daka guns a pop. And I've upgraded that group with a single uh, power claw. And lastly is going to be a knob with a wah banner. He's going to be bringing a custom shooter, a power claw, and he's going to be kitted out with the relic Res Mecha's Redder Armor. And that's my army. Okay, folks, this is going to be my 750 points of Taloran Battalion. I'm trying out a slightly different regiment than my usual Cadian or Boskayan. So let us start off with my Warlord. It's going to be a company commander, and he is going to have the Warlord trait Grand Strategist. Not particularly a fan of the Taloran specific warlord trait, especially on a company commander. We might be kind of interesting to try at some point. My second HQ is going to be another company commander, and he is going to have the laurels of command. Just my usual relics and warlord traits that I usually pick, because they're pretty darn good. Moving on, I have three infantry squads for troop choices. All of them are ten-man squads. Kitted it out roughly the same, but with a change in some power weapons in them. Two squads have flamers, uh, and the other squad has a plasma gun and a plasma pistol. And all three squads have a vox caster, a chain sword for their sergeant, and that's it for their upgrades. Moving on, I've got myself a group of three elites for this one. The first one up is going to be an astropath, and he is going to know night shroud and be taking a... Auto pistol or las pistol. Uh, yeah, it's a las pistol. For my next two elites, they're going to be identical tech priest engine seers. Going to bring some extra support for my vehicles for this time around because I've got some vehicles that I want to keep going. Speaking of vehicles, I am going into my heavy supports. I've got two Lehman Ross battle tanks. One is going to be a Punisher variant, and it is going to have the Punisher cannon a LAS cannon, and two Sponson Plasmas. My second, Lehman Ross, is going to be a mainline battle tank with its battle cannon, two heavy bolters, and a LAS cannon. Moving on, I've got a fast attack choice of a... Uh, moving on, I've got a fast attack choice of a Bane Wolf with his chem cannon and a heavy bolter. So I've got three battle tanks, roughly, this one, one light variant. So it should be interesting to see how I can maneuver them around with Taloran's special move and not take penalties for heavy weapons. And that is going to be my 750 points of Taloran Battalion. Okay, and here we are deployed for our Supplies from Above Eternal War mission from the new chapter approved 2018 book. And in this one, there are four objectives. Well, I said that really weird. There are four <laughs> objectives uh, randomly placed. 
Uh, we went ahead and put them out, following the deployment rules for those. And at the start of each battle round, starting with the player who has first turn, alternate picking objective markers, roll a d6 uh, for each player, and whoever gets the highest gets to move the objective marker three inches in any direction, can't move it off the table or put it into a group of units into or I'll put put it on top of a model. Yes. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and move it around. And starting on the second turn, they start being worth victory points to claim. Nice. And if we if any of us bother to bring any models with the fly keyword, they gain objectives secured for this mission. But we didn't, so Yep. There you go. Uh, this variable game length is in play. Sudden death is not being used. So once again, if you're tabled, but for some reason had an oodle number of points higher than your opponent, you can still possibly win. Yeah. And there's Slay the Warlord. Not first blood, first strike, which is kill an enemy unit in the first turn. Which is, for this comp, relatively unlikely. Yeah, well... I could possibly take uh, out either the bikes or something. You might be able to end the truck with your battle cannon there. Maybe. Uh, but I don't see the orcs getting that one. No, absolutely not. And there's still line breaker in effect. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting one because the objectives are going to be scurrying about the battlefield. Definitely. I'll, I definitely like the way they, they mixed up the game modes in the new book. Yeah. Well, the way that this is supposed to work is Mike won the roll-off for picking deployment type and picked his zone. Then I was forced to deploy my entire army first. Then Mike deployed his entire army. And according to the book, the player who finished deploying first has first turn. We thought that was a little ridiculous because it told us to deploy the entire army. So that yeah. didn't really matter. So we're going to switch that to gets the plus one for the roll-off. So roll-off. You won. Yay! I got three, you got four. I will choose to go first. Would you like to attempt to deny? Um, yeah, sure. I'll attempt to seize. You did. You went first anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so it's going to be on Talaran turn one. Alright. Alright, at the start of the first battle round, we have to see these things drift. So, starting with the player who is, gets to pick... One of the spots to move. I'm going to start with number one because we're just going to go one, two, three, four. Fair enough. Then we roll off, and whoever wins gets to drift it three inches. I got a four, you got a six. So, so you get I to will drift, drift it. it three inches that way. Okay. And on to number two over there. Yep, just one right here. I got a four, you got a two. two. In which case, I'm going to drift it towards my lines. Fair enough. And then three is right there by you. Yep. I got a three. I got a six. All right. Four. Yeah. Just, there it is. Yep. I guess you want to move it towards your own lines, or um, what do you want to do with it? It's this one. Ah, yes. Uh, just three inches towards me. Sweet. Uh, Super and then, accurate measuring, but... Yeah, it, it's close enough. I think that was four inches, but... And uh, now number four. I got a two. You got a four. It's all yours. Okay. Woo! Out of the building. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, on to uh, Tom's movement. All right, for tur first turn for Talaran, basically all of the infantry and characters advance. The tanks either moved up slightly less than half or a good chunk of their movements. So starting over here, the squad advance getting a two up to here. Company commander just staying in range. Engine seer staying tucked behind the Punisher. Middle, the two sides around the bastion met up. Squad and Astropath advancing ones. Yay! The uh, Bane Wolf got to move just 12 inches up. Advanced up the infantry squad here to act as a forward shield. Keep the company commander there. Um, engine Seer staying behind the battle tank, which only moved four inches forward, so it could double fire his cannon. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for my movement phase. On to Psychic Phase, where the only Psychic power I'm going to use is going to be Night Shroud. And... Do I want to put it on? I guess I want to put it on this tank? 
I don't know. Like You, you might... seem unsure. Well, it's minus one to hit it. Yeah. So I don't know what else you could really if, if easily it helps, target. This can move a bunch. Yeah. So the, and it's know, closest I... there. This has the longest gu uh, range gun. Mm -hmm. I'm not really worried about that unit, even if it moves, it like gets a charge going. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what? I th think I'm gonna put it on this one in case you charge into them, just so you have a minus one to hit against that unit. Fair enough. So night shroud on a seven. I got an eight. Right. And I'm outside of the range, I believe. 24 inch range. I might not be then. I'm totally outside of that range. Yeah. He's back here. All right, so this unit is minus one to hit against it. Fair enough. Okay, uh, that's it for the movement phase, uh, psychic phase. Going into the shooting phase. Okay, and at the start of the shooting phase, I'm going to give out orders. First order is going to go to these guys. Ford for the Emperor. I'm sorry, not Ford for the Emperor. Move, move, move. Uh, he's going to go ahead and give move, move, move to these guys as well through the Vox network, and he's going to go and give first rank, second rank fire to these guys, I think. Yeah, I'll go with that one. First rank, second rank. So they can put some plink shots into the, into either whatever comes out or the truck. Fair enough. So these two need to move and advance. So advancing this squad on the right flank, four, four inches. inches, and this squad gets two, two. extra inches. Okay, and after all the dudes advanced up, this is where they ended up. And we'll go straight on to shooting with this Punisher. Going to go ahead and unload all of his shots into the Orcs squad right there. Starting off, 20 shots from his Punisher cannon, hitting on fours. So, 14 hits from the Punisher cannon. Strength 5 versus tough of 4, so I'm looking for 3s to wound. 9 wounds. All right. No AP from the Punisher. That's good. In. So nine six-up saves for my boys. Where I somehow astoundingly make at least three of them. So six go down. Six go down. I'm not even mad. I was expecting all of them. All right. And then after the Punisher cannon, I'm going to fire his two spawns and plasma cannons in standard fire mode. So 2d3 number of shots. Four, five shots. Once again, hitting on fours. No. For only two hits. Strength seven versus tough of four, so threes to wound. One wound, and that's just going to be a dead orc with AP minus three. Blech. All right, and now for the super overkill gun. One last cannon shot. Oh, God. Hitting on a four. No, it missed. Okay. All right. <laughs> Next up down the line, the... Bane Wolf is going to go ahead and fire his heavy bolter into that Orc Boy squad. Three shots hitting on fours. Oh, I'll miss. Oh, okay. Okay. So, over to here. I'm going to go ahead and have the battle tank go. He's going to fire his battle cannon and last cannon into that. And his two Sponson heavy bolters are going to go across into the Orc Boy squad. All right. Going through the windows there. I seized him. Yep. All right. He moved less than half his total distance, so 2d6 number of shots from his battle cannon. Ugh. Would you like to re-roll any of those? Uh, Spend your command points. Hold on. Oh, I've got a lot, so I probably will. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and spend a command point to re-roll one of these twos. Two or three. So five shots. Yeah. One better. All right. Five shots. Five shots hitting on fours. For three, strength eight versus tough of six, I think. Wounding on threes. For two wounds, and EP minus two on the battle cannon. Five will be two six ups, and then probably two ramshackles. And then probably two ramshackles. For you do D3 damage will pop. All right, so roll your D3s, because ramshackle is based off of damage. A three and a one. Okay. All right, that didn't do too well, so on to uh, Ramshackle. I was wrong before, not two dice, one dice for that D, th or for the uh, three wounds. So if I got a six, I did not, so took four. Okay. Last cannon shot, hitting on a four. Successfully hit. Uh, wounding on a three. Successfully wounded. That's two sixes, roll another one. Yep, and D6 damage, because AP minus three. Yep. 
for four. You did not roll another one. All right, so ramshack. Oh, eight. Yeah, you, you would ramshackle this because it goes right through. Yeah, AP minus three. You oh have yeah, four eight, AP minus three. So ramshackle six, please. No, that is not a six. So you took a total of eight damage. Yes. Ow. And then the six heavy bolter shots going into the orc squad over there through the windows. Hitting on fours. For four successful hits. And then wounding on threes. For three, three. successful wounds, AP minus one. And you're not within the three inches to claim cover from the actual building. I am not, so that's just three dead orcs. Yep. All right. Uh, anyone else shooting? Yeah, the, the squad's going to get several shots in from first rank fire, second rank fire. Got it. Pretty much looks like everyone but the back guy. Okay. Range. And, of course, the flamer's out of range. And the engine's here. Well, the engine's here, but not part <laughs> of the squad. I know, I know. All right, and that's going to be 16 last gun shots. The reason why this squad can fire even after it advanced, because they're tolerant, they can fire any other guns excluding heavy weapons, they turn the advance, and they ignore the penalties for advancing and firing assault weapons and stuff like that. Which is pretty good. Yep. Uh, so that is 16 shots coming in, hitting on fours. And these are going to be wounding on fives. Mm. No, you're T6, so this is going to be sixes. For two. Probably won't kill it, but hopefully we'll shave one more wound off of it. No AP? No AP. It's a last gun. Yeah, two four ups. No. All right, sweet. Still alive. Okay, uh, and that is it for turn one for the Tower and Guard. Shaved a bunch of works out of the, the blob there. Actually, how many did die from that blob? That is actually probably a good point. I'll go count them. All right, so I lost 10 boys from this unit. So currently, my leadership would be a 14 minus the 10, 4. So on a 5 or 6, I lose some people. Lose two I lose more. 2. Damn it. You don't have anyone there for breaking heads. I don't, because uh, the war, uh, Weird Void does not have that. Yep. All right, well, uh, on to my turn. All right, so orc movement for turn one. I had this whole puddle move up, uh, going over there to connect with the pain boy and the knob with the wah banner. The wah banner won't be too important this turn, but eh, he's over there too. Um, so everyone here disembarked from the truck as it's about to explode with two wounds left. Uh, moved up their full move uh, just to kind of hang out there, get some good shots in. Truck moved over there, getting away from all other units to explode in peace if it does. Well, I guess peace is. Uh, and then the uh, biker boys, uh, knobs on war bikes, moved up their full move, getting ready to shoot into uh, that group that's hard to hit. Ah, moving out of the way onto psychic phase. I think I'm literally just going to throw a smite. Uh, and a warpath. Okay. So, smite at, I believe that's the closest group. Yeah, it has to be that card's minion. Yeah. And standard smite, so five or better. Has something happen? I got a 12, so I perils, but it goes off, and it's the D6 version. Yes, and... Oh, and that, and I've got like a plus one, so it's like a 13. Which means you perils... Ice? I don't know. Let me go find out. So I think the thing has a special thing. If it gets a 12 or higher, it, something happens. He might be dead. Let's find out. All right, so we checked the rules errata for uh, this occurrence. It didn't actually come up. So this is a yeah, fair question for the audience there. If you had this issue come up, or you know somewhere like in a tournament rules they came up with something or something like that, in this situation, rules as written, normally when a player rolls double ones or double sixes, they suffer perils, perils of, the of the warp, which is D3 mortal wounds if the character dies in cert certain effects. Yeah. The orc's special ability of whatever yeah. power of the wall 
adds one to the number of, to one manifesting a psychic power. If they get a 12 or higher, they suffer perils of the war. So, going with rules as written, theoretically, I would suffer two, two perils, perils of, of the warp. A rule as intended seems more flavored towards you just suffer it the one Once. time. Um, we were going to do a, like an odd or even for what happens. Either I take two or I take one. But I'm just going to spend a command point and uh, re-roll one of these dice. and Hope to not get a five or a six. Yeah. And then we have to roll that dice. So four. I got a four, so I've got a total of an 11. 11. Which we still has the higher three. version of smite. Yes. And I do not perils. Mm-hmm. I'd say that's a worthwhile oh, command point. point. Either which way. Uh, I actually might be in yeah, range now. But I would need a, I would need double sixes. Fair enough. So I'm going to lose D6 guys from that. All right. You don't even want to try? You might get lucky. It's a 1 in 36 or something like that eh, chance. Pick up the dice. No. Okay, fine. I could save it to deny your warpath. Well, that lost. Four. Okay. One, two, three, and four. All right. And then Warpath on the group of boys. Yeah. For ten. Yeah. You're rolling pretty good for your psychic powers. And I got ten, but I needed one higher. Yep. So that's pretty good. Uh, that's it for the psychic phase for me. On to shooting. All right. First up in the shooting phase is going to be the... Heavily damaged truck with its big shooter firing over into this group here. So, three shots hitting on five. Before you roll, I'm going to spend a one point stratagem on take cover for the squad. All right. Plus one to their saves. Fair enough. You don't have to roll for anything for that. All right, so uh, hitting on fives for none. Eh, was a waste of point. Uh, is that just during the shooting? Yeah, it's just during the shooting. Okay. Um. Next up is the knobs on war bikes, who's going to just have all 18 of their uh, shots from their DACA guns go into that group of hard to hit guard. So 18 shots hitting on sixes because they're hard to hit. Four, five. Can't see that. Okay. Uh, and with DACA, DACA, DACA. Doesn't trigger because you're. Ah, uh, because uh, hard are, to hit. Those are effectively fives. Ah. Uh, it's always the worst. All right. And I even remembered. Yep. All right, well, and wounding on threes. For four. Still rolled really good. That's actually pretty good. All right, uh, that's going to be four four-ups because I'm manning that barricade. And it looks like I failed two. So two guys will die. Yep, and flip. Next up is going to be the... Mega knobs firing all six of their attacks from their combis uh, at that group of hard to hit guard. They are not firing their scorches because they can't hit anything with their scorcher. They're out of range. So six attacks hitting on sixes for three. Jeez, rolling really hot today. And wounding on threes for three. And these are just going to be five. I saved one of them. And finishing off me for the uh, shooting phase is going to be the knob with wall banner firing his custom shooter at that same group with four attacks hitting on sixes. For two. And then I believe wounding on threes. For two possible wounds. Two five up saves. Hey, there you go. Yep. Uh, so that's it for shooting. Uh, now for charges. Um, I'm definitely going to be declaring a charge with the boys into that group of uh, guard there. Okay. Yeah, you only need to do one at a time anyway. Yep. So, yeah. Oop, sorry. Knocked him off. So that's going to be five and rapid fire and then the flamer. I'll start off with the 10 last gun shots, hitting on sixes for two, and then wounding on fives for one. All right. One six up t-shirt, 
Nope. One pain boy save. Because yep. he's You're not with just him. on the opposite side of the wall. Five or six. Pretty sure it's six. Yeah, I think it's a six as well. So six up pain boy. Four. No, that is a one. Either which way. Eh, eh, eh. And then D6 number of shots from the flamer for three. Auto hitting, wounding on fours because strength four for two more wounds. No AP on the standard flamer. Okay, so two six ups. Made both of them. You've made a lot of six ups. I was a lot of six ups. I need to go roll up a D&D character real quick. Okay. Uh, so you lost one from the Yeah, game. um, you. All right, and then you have a nine inch charge. Yep, so let's see if I make it. I don't, but I like the four. I'm going to be re-rolling the two with, uh, here we go. Fair enough. Nope, nope, nope. That's not my re-roll. That's bad picking up. An eight plus one from, no, do I have a plus one from Evil Sons? I don't. You technically do, but you have minus two for charging, which made an eight into a nine. Okay. Um, and the, it might be too late, but was the, the fact that he's got follow me lads and the wah, is that just an er era of effect? It's an area of effect that just allows them to charge. After they advance. Against. Okay. So I do not make it with them. Yeah, you needed to roll a nine or better. Damn. Um, so quick recap for those that maybe missed the mumble session that was oh, that. Sorry. Uh, the, he's evil son, so he gets plus one to advances and charges. So he would have been able to make this charge, but because he's in a crater, which gives minus two to charges, effectively gave him minus one, which turned his eight inch charge into a nine inch charge. Which I don't He make. missed by literally one. Uh, and I already did the re-roll, so I can't just re-roll again. You can spend a command point on the dice you didn't re-roll. Yes. Which would effectively be the same thing. You're looking for a five or a six. Which would be ridiculous. Uh, um, do I have any command point options to do something? Let me go look. All right, looked about in the command points, and there wasn't really anything there. So I'm going to hold on to my command point and just say they didn't make it. But next up is I'm going to be declaring a charge with the three bikers into that previously hard-to-hit squad. Mm -hmm. All right, and I got nine Overwatch shots because one of them is out of rapid fire, hitting on sixes. Yeah, I got three. Yeah, pretty good. And then wounding on fives. For one, I think you get a four up save on a bike. I believe so. What you make? Which I make. So, time for the. Do I make it? You got a five and a two. Five and a two. I will. Here we go. That two. For a total of a ten. For a total of eleven. Because you're plus one to charge it. So, you absolutely make it. Alright, so I'll move them in. Alright, attacking in with the uh, knobs on war bikes. Starting with the two that don't have a power claw. Uh, with their choppas, so they got a total of eight attacks going in, hitting on threes for seven hits, and wounding on threes for three possible wounds. Three five-up saves, no AP on choppas. Ooh, only leave one. Uh, Who do you take? Random guardsman. And then three going in from the power claw in that group. Uh, hitting on fours because it's unwieldy. For one. And then wounding on two. Wounds. It's a dead guardsman. Boop. Oh, I was hoping for more. Oh, well. Yeah, that was, that was that a good, was, number, was good number of hits. Poor wound rolls. Yeah. Oh, well, and that is it for Orcs turn one. I would like to attack back, please. No, no, it's fine. Don't. don't. Three inch pile <laughs> in. <laughs> nah, it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. I totally forgot. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My guardsmen attack back with six attacks in total, hitting on fours for three, and then wounding on fives. For not. Fair enough. Okay. 
Uh, and that will be the end of Orcs turn one. I um, gotta do some morales. You gotta do some morales. Two point insanely brave. <sighs> one point fight onto death, which turns their D6 into a D3. They lost four guys, leadership seven, so they cannot fail on a D3. So that's three command points they both stay. Well, darn. I was hoping to get first strike, but I forgot that uh, Guard had that as a command point of, no, nope, they're fine. Well, everyone has the insane, insane courage, whatever, for oh, two. Oh, yeah, fair enough. The 1.1 1. 1 is unique to the Guard, which turns the D6 into a D3. All right. Well, on to your turn, turn two. Okay, at the uh, end of turn one there, I spent a total of five command points for that turn, and I have Grand Strategist, so I'm just going to go ahead and roll five dice. Any fives give me one extra command point, but because of the changes to way command point regen happens, I can only get one command point back. Ever. I did get a five, so I got one point back. Yeah, fair enough. You now have four. Yep. All right, as we move into turn two, we need to see where these... Falling supply crates drift to. So first up is number one. I get to choose it. In which case, I think it's going to go this way. Oh, darn. Just away from your people. Fair enough. Number two. Yep, number two. Tie. It, it goes move. nowhere. That's fair enough. Number three. You get to choose where you want to drift it. Um, Towards that crater, away from you. It won't get far enough to... Uh, Negate the fact of you getting that point, but... Yeah, because I'm just going to move the astropath onto it. Yeah. Uh, and then this one, which is currently sitting underneath my guy. <laughs> doesn't move. Okay. So, I'm just, technically, because it can't land on a guy, shift it just so it's out. That's fair enough, yeah. Um, And that's it, on to your move. Alright, movement for turn two for the guard... This flank is continuing to move forward and swoop around. The company commander got a nice advance, so he's now holding that objective. So I'll get one point for that for this turn. Everyone else is getting ready to lob a bunch of shots there. My remaining guard squad from the center has pushed forward, getting in flamer and good rapid fire range to help clean up the center there. Over here, the Bane Wolf moved over to assist with the bikes that are moving up. The Astropath claimed the objective. The four-man squad pushed forward to kind of act as basically a speed bump at this point. <laughs> the battle tank did not move. The company commander moved behind because he's got my grand strategist. He regenerates some command points, so I need him Fair to Fair enough. I couldn't shoot him there anyway because your well, tank this, is still the closest model. This way, if you charge, mm, you fair know, enough. it's going to be slightly harder. Yes. So that is my movements onto Psychic. Um, I don't really care if you take this out, so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, Night Shroud on this. Fair enough. Which I don't get anyway. That's a four. That's not enough. All right. Okay, uh, and then on to Orders, which are going to hop over to here. He's going to go ahead and give first rank fire, second rank fire to them. And on a four up, he can give them another order because of the laurels of command. No. no. And that's it for orders, because he's out of range to give orders to anyone, and... Yeah, alright. Fair enough. On to uh, actual shooting time. Is he within or a range of the Voxcaster to them? Um, no, I don't think he's within three inches of the Voxcaster. Oh, three inches? No, god yeah. no. Never mind. So if I had the Voxcaster back here, then no, uh, they'd be outside of 18 at that point. Alright. So what I'm going to do is start with... I think the guardsmen here. See how much damage they could do in the crater, and then follow up with the Punisher. All right. Okay, this guardsman squad now firing. Two are in rapid fire with first rank ranks confirming fire, so that's eight shots from them. And then the other seven getting rapid fire two weapons in. So 22 shots, hitting on fours. Nine. Yeah, a little bit below average, but oh well, hopefully make it up in this roll. And wounding on fives. Which I did not make up at all. I made only two. Hmm. 
So two six ups, which I make one, and then one dock tools. No, one dies, and it will be you. Okay, and one shot from the plasma gun, not supercharged, hitting on a four, wounding on a three. EP minus three, so that's just going to go yep. through. Dead orc. You dock tools. Ah, dock tools. It's only one damage. What you make? Made it. Okay, so slight change in plan. I'm going to jump over and take care of the main battle tank over here first. All right. So the main battle tank is going to go ahead next, and he's going to fire his battle cannon, the last cannon, into the mega knobs, and his two heavy bolters into the bikes. All right. So, battle cannon, 2d6 number of shots. For three, I am spending a command point. For three, all right, and then that's going to be three shots hitting on fours. I'll take three hits to make up for the fact that should have had like seven shots <laughs> and then wounding on threes for two. The AP minus um, two, I do believe. All right. All right, for the Mega Knobs, that's just going to be two four ups because they start with a two up save. So, made one, one failed one. Uh, we'll do D3 damage. All right, well, it'll matter. They have three wounds. Okay. You might pop one for one, and I've already spent my command point. Okay. Let me just do a diss real quick. Last cannon, hitting on a four. Successfully hit. Wounding on a three. Nope. All right. Actually, hold on. What's their toughness? Are they tough five or tough four? Let me check. They are tough four. So, yes, this two would then wound. All right. And that is EP minus three. So, one five up. No. Hey, D6 damage. For five, that's that's, that's a that's a popped mega knob. Pain boy saves. I doubt you'll make. Well, I can't say that you've been rolling really good. That's a total so, of six damage that's been dealt to that one guy. Yeah. All right. So for the one uh, mega knob, it's going to be just six six ups from the uh, docks tools, which I make two. So he is still in fact dead. So okay. you didn't blank. make four out of your... I did not make four out of the... Uh, you still made slightly more than statistically average. Yes. Battle tanks, heavy bolters now going into the biker squad. Six shots, hitting on fours. Ooh, that was a good roll. Wounding on fours, because I think your tough five is on bikes. And that's going to be two wounds with AP minus one. So, two five-ups. Two five-ups. No. Okay, and next up to shoot is going to be the Bane Wolf. He's going to fire all of his shots into that. So starting off with his three heavy bolter shots, hitting on fours, two hits, and then wounding on fours for one more wound. All right, one five up. No. One more wound, which means this guy's dead. Yay! And then D6 number of shots from his chem cannon for four. Now, that's not going to be enough to kill the unit, but... Hopefully take out some more. And wounding on twos, because you're not vehicles. For three wounds with AP minus two, I do believe. It's odd that bikes don't count as vehicles. I get why. Because it's as open-topped as open-topped gets. You get, yeah. Hellhounds, Kim Cannon, AP minus three. So that's actually just going to go straight through your it armor. It is. So that's just three wounds. So That's another, that's another dead bike. And they're nowhere near close enough to the paint boy, so I don't even yeah. have to worry about it. Okay. Um, Who's next? You want to have this unit activate next. It's going to turn and just put all their shots into this. Try to finish it off. Fair enough. The truck will live yet another day. Yeah. So six shots from the uh, LAS guns from that unit. Hitting on fours. For five hits, that's a good roll. And then wounding on fives. For three, that's also a good roll. Hey, making it up. Four uh, ups. Yeah. And three four ups. For no, you took my dice hat, my, my dice lock. Yeah, quick break to order food. Uh, yeah. Damn. Goodbye, biker squad. Yep. Cool. You would get first blood. But Except it doesn't have first, first blood. blood. Yep. 
this first strike, which is interesting, but okay. Uh, uh, now moving into the yeah, middle. We're going to go jump back over to the Punisher. In which case, the Punisher is now going to fire all of its shots into the boy squad. Fair enough. And it moved at less than half movement, so it gets to double fire its Punisher cannon. All right. Starting off with the Punisher cannon, which is now going to be able to fire 40 shots because it moved at half movement. So starting off with a group of 20, hitting on fours. 12, 12 from the first volley. Pretty good. Just going to go ahead and roll the number of shots for the second volley. Six, seven, eight. So, 20. 20, 20 hits. <laughs> I will... I guess I'll take my perfectly statistical average. And then wounding on threes against the Orc Boys. That is nowhere near statistically average. Ugh. Eh, actually, it might be. I have seven non-wounds, so 13 wounds. Okay. Yes, 13 wounds, no AP, so you have five up saves because you're in the crater. All right, so this is going to be 13, you said 13. Yep. 13, five ups because of the crater. Actually, should I break it up because there are... You're within three inches of uh, the other training feature. So either Okay, fair cover. enough, I'm good. So, three ups. No, five ups, I'm so sorry. I, I, ups. I don't know why I said three, but either way, five ups. I think you made three. One, two... No, make two. I made two. So 11 die from that unit. Um, well, 11, pain boy. 11 six ups, yeah. All right, well, 11 six ups from pain boy. I'm just going to start removing all the models because that's none. Yeah. And a little bit of a miscount. That's all of my orc boys. Okay. And this unit is going to go next. However, they cannot simply shoot the Weird Boy because of the Mega Knobs are slightly closer on the other side here. And the first three are the only ones that can see them through the building there. So two rapid-firing shots from Laz Guns going into the Mega Knobs for one hit. Wounding on five. One wound. You have a two-up save, so... Yep. One, two-up save. They made it. D6 number of shots from the Flamer. For six. Hey. Uh, wounding on fours. For five. These are going to be two ups as well. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get out of there. And five two ups. Made all but one. And then you have a six up feeling. Okay. Yep. Which I made. So the squad did no damage. <laughs> But they're there to claim objective two for one turn. Yes, which you had get a, three objectives. Are you yes. charging anything? Uh, Do you want to charge my truck? No, I don't think I'm going to charge anything this turn. Uh, you don't want to charge the truck? No. Uh, I believe in you. You can do it. I could, but no. Oh, okay, fine. Uh, so that means it's on to Orc's turn. Yep. And at the end of turn two for the guard, I did spend a command point, so on a five up, I get it back. Hey, I do. All right, so orc movement. I guess I'll start off over here. I had the truck move back uh, to just kind of hold that objective, get me at least one point. And the mega knobs moved in advanced upwards. The pain boy moved in advanced forward. The knob with wah banner moved in advanced forward, and the Weird Boy moved and advanced, uh, getting actually an 11 inch uh, total over there so that he can allow all of those models to charge after advancing. So that's real good. Uh, that's movement taken care of. I seem to be lacking any other models at the moment. Uh, and on to psychic powers. So I'll be using uh, Warpath on the Mega Knobs. See if you roll another double six again. See if I roll another double six again. Yep. No. It is a six because you don't have ten boys around. I'm not even sure if that actually 
gets it off. I think it's a seven. Let me look. So six is not enough, and I'm going to be spending a command point to uh, re-roll that. So I got worse, so that doesn't happen, and I wasted a command point. Next is just going to be smite on the closest unit, which I think... It's going to be the little oh, guardsman squad. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the guardsman squad. So it's going to be them, so smite for a total of a 10. I might as well attempt it, and I need an 11 or better. Oh, I should see a 6 well, and a, a 2. 6, okay. So no, and I'm not going to spend a command point to... Uh... And 11 is the d6, so it's still just a d3. Yeah. D3! For one. Oh, no. Pop. Uh, with Psychic out of the way, on to shooting. Where... I don't have much, so I'll start off, start off with the big shooter off the truck going into that group of... Yeah, I'll just shoot at the guard. Yeah. You could also, you know... Just control alt delete with the scorches. <laughs> yeah, actually, I might be able to see through that window. I, and I in fact do at that group of guards. So I'll shoot them. Fair enough. So shooting at this group of guard, three shots hitting on fives, one possible or one hit, wounding on threes, or one possible wound. Okay, one five up save. No. no. Um, you, sir. I'll go with four shots from the custom shooter of the knob with wah banner. He can, uh, he actually can see that same group. So he'll shoot that way as well for hitting on fives with, so, and daka daka daka, I get to re-roll, or roll another dice, which missed anyway, so three hits. And wounding on threes. For one. Okay. No AP. Another five up save? No. Uh, you. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Six shots. I am going to be running the um, combis as combi. So you're firing both profiles? I'm firing both profiles. And what are you going to shoot? At what? I'm going to fire six shots at the tank in front of them and hopefully just do some plank damage and then both scorches, or one scorcher this way, one scorcher that way. Okay. I'm spreading them out. Spreading the love. Uh, you know what? Screw it. No. Both scorches there. All right, so six shots into the Bane Wolf, hitting on sixes for two. And you don't have any, like, negative... You do. Hard to hit. I do. Damn it. So it's just two hits. Yeah. And wounding on fives for one. Okay. And one three-up save. Yeah. Okay. And then the 2d6 number of shots... On the scorches. At that group for... Okay, nine. Well, that unit's dead. That unit might be dead. Well, it's at least strength five and AP minus one. So you're wounding on threes with AP minus one. These remember scorches are amazing. So, pretty sure that's a dead unit. I rolled two twos, everything else is a... Oh, nope, sorry, there's one one. So six wounds. Yes. So six six ups. Who knows, I could roll like you and make... like Six six ups. Yeah. All right. If you minus one, so that's six six ups. I made one, so five wounds. That's the whole unit. That's the whole unit. All right, and that should be it for shooting. I don't think anyone else has any guns. No one's in there to use the stick bomb launcher. So on to charges to declare. First off is I'm going to be declaring the uh, two mega knobs into the... Uh, uh, Painwolf. Bane Wolf. I was about to say Hellhound. It's a Hellhound variant, so yeah. Okay. Are you multi charge No. Okay. I've, I've got three other guys there. They need to do stuff as well. Well, yeah, they could charge in after the other things with a flamer and two other dudes can't fire. But that's up to you. Yeah. So just into there. Yes, right. just into there. So 
Starting off with a chem cannon, D6 number of shots for five. Ugh. Wounding on twos for four wounds. Nope, oh, wait, hold on. I accidentally rolled six dice. <laughs> All right, so for four wounds. All right. And with AP, AP minus three, I believe. All right, so four or five ups. Which I make one. So that's going to be three, three six ups. Yep. Which I make none. So that's going to be one dead uh, mega knob, which I will take the dude without the flag. And three shots from the heavy bolter for one. And wounding on a three. One wound, EP minus one. All right, so three up. Made it with a six. Fair enough. And then his charge in. And even if you roll a two, you still yeah, make it. I, I, I made it with an eight. So wherever you really want to go on it. Yeah. Uh, then the pain boy is just going to go into the... Do you want to send your pain boy in first? Because if I happen to kill the pain boy... Fair enough. Knob with wall banner going into just the... Uh, the guard. Okay. And start off with the flamer. D6 number of shots. For six. This is going to be wounding on fours, because strength four is tough four. Ah, uh, for only two. No AP on a okay. flamer. And he only has a six up save, I think. I think so. So. Now I have to check to see if he has a five up. So after a look, he actually has a four up, so I'll do the six up, feel no pain. No. So he takes one wound. All right, next I'm gonna have one of the last guns rapid fire, hitting on sixes. Nope, and the last guy's gonna chuck a frag at him for five number of shots. And hitting on sixes for none. Okay, that's it. And All right. he can't fail this charge. No, he literally can't. So just how far does he get? put him back. I said I'll put him back here. Then the pain boy is just going to charge, yep, uh, multi-charge both. Fair enough. Getting absolutely enough. And then the weird boy is just going to go right into the group there. So he absolutely makes it. All right. So uh, starting off the fight phase with the mega knob, he's going to be attacking the only thing he can attack, the uh, Bane Wolf. Yeah. About, about to say Bane Blade, I just knew that was wrong. Uh, he's got three attacks, hitting on fours. With his Power Claw, only one hit. That is unfortunate. <coughs> and... You know, uh... You also add one to hit rolls because of the Wah Banner nearby. True. So, actually then, two hit. Because one was a one, two, and a three. Yeah. So that's going to be um, wounding on three as well. Or wounding on three. So one possible wound. DP minus three, so one six up save. No. And D3 wounds for one. That I'll spend the command point on. Hopefully okay. I'll get better. I can't get worse. No, you really can't. Two. Two. All right, next up is going to be the Pain Boy putting four of his standard attacks into the uh, the Bane Wolf, and then his extra Erty Syringe attack into the Guard. So, four attacks hitting on fours into the Bane Wolf, of course. Uh, and with the Wa Banner, that three goes a four, so hit twice, and wounding on threes for one. One six up save. No. D3 damage. And D3. For two. two. And then his one Erty Syringe going into the guard. Uh, hitting on threes. Yep. Hits. And wounding no matter what on a four. Wounds. Any EP? No EP. Just one damage. Five up save. That no. is a four. Alright, next going to be the uh, 
knob with wah banner. Just gonna shift him in more. Um, he's got three attacks with his wah banner going into the guard, hitting on twos because of the wah. And wounding on twos as well because strength seven. So two possible wounds. Two five up saves. No. no. So that's the guards gone. And at this point, Sergeant's going to die first, and this will be the last one. I'm spending three points for fire on my position. <laughs> so what that is, is a unit that had been equipped with a Vox caster is completely wiped out to the last model. Roll a d6 for each enemy unit within three inches. On a four up, that unit suffers d3 mortal wounds. Does the Vox caster have to be... It does not have to be the last guy. It's a unit that was equipped with. All right. So, from here, three inches is going to be your three characters. Yeah. So I'm going to start with the pain boy. Fair enough. On a four up. No. no. Weird boy on a four up? No. Nope. And your other thing on a four up? Yes. Yeah. So it takes a mortal wound? D3. For three. And he did. You have three six up feeling the pains. Six ups. He has one wound. And that was three command points. Ah, I see. I now understand why you didn't intervene. Uh, and that's going to be it for my end of that. You're... Right, and the Bane Wolf striking back, putting his three attacks into the Pain Boy. Hitting on sixes. Ooh, I got two. He's strength six, so wounding on threes. Ooh. Well. Oh, okay. Sure. Hey, there's no AP in that. No so. AP, no. Pretty sure the pain boy just has a six up save. Yep. So six ups. And his own six ups. No. So he takes two. Yeah. Alright. Well done. Yay. Um and then on to Tom's turn. Three. Three. You get one victory point. Yes, I do. And I'm out of command points. You are. All right, turn three. We gotta see where these things drift to. So, you probably have control. Nope. No, okay. you do not. Well, um, or no, I do not. Just over there. Yeah, outside of your control, but. Yeah. So if you go to go get it, you move better in the line of sight. Yeah. And then number two. With no one has anything nearby, really. I get to move it wherever you want to. I'll just move it closer to me. Fair enough. Approximately where it's. Get, get back here. Number three. You get to control it. Um, move it towards my mega knob. Yeah, just this way. And that one. Sorry, Sergeant. I got a four. What'd you get? Two. two. Uh, off into that far corner. Me. Yeah. He's just gonna move the one yeah. guy back after it. That's pretty much. Um. So on to your movement. All right. Turn three. Advanced up that group of guardsmen, breaking into Mike's back line there to get me line breaker pretty securely towards the for the end of the game when yep. we get to that point. The company commander decided to stay back and be relatively safe for the rest of the game, just Absolutely. generating one points. The Punisher moved four inches to there. His uh, engine seer staying with him to keep him going. My hero astropath advanced four inches to claim objective two. <laughs> The Bane Wolf fell back 12 inches to there and is going to get repaired D3 by my uh, other engine seer for three, so. <laughs> Nearly didn't matter. Mm -hmm. And then stayed put over here ready to just dish out punishment to uh, Mike's remaining characters. Yep. So, speaking of which, um, he's going to cast, in case it really matters, he's going to put uh, Night Shroud on himself. Oh, I hear I thought you were going to do a babby smite. No, I tried on himself. He got an 11. Come at me. <laughs> no, okay. I will not. Yay, minus one did him. He can be a hero and catch supplies. Yay, <laughs> guys, I got it. I got the bag of prinkles. What's the psyker doing? 
All right, um, that's it for that. On to um, shooting phase. No orders to give, because all of the guardsmen are way too far away from their company commanders now. That squad doesn't even know what's going on over here. They, they, they've just been pushing forward through uh, orc lines. <laughs> relatively unopposed. No, I have I shot at that group? No. They, they've, they've just peeled off a number of orcs there and just continued to press on. <laughs> All right, so what I'm actually going to start with is with the Punisher here. Uh, Punisher cannon into Pain Boy for all 40. Oh! Last that... cannon into Knob, and along with the Spawns and Plasmas into this. Okay. I feel like the all 40 into the Pain Boy is a little much. Well, it has to shoot the same target. Okay, fair enough. That's... I didn't think of that. Okay, quick change of place, because that's not a character that's still an elite. So this will not go first. This tank will go first. He's going to go ahead and put his battle cannon and last cannon into that to finish him off. And then his spawns and heavy bolters into the uh, knob with wall banner. Because it's closer and he can. Yes. So start off with the battle cannon going in. 2d6 number of shots. For five. Hey, it's not a three. <laughs> <laughs> Progress has been made. Hitting on fours for three hits. And then wounding on twos because you're only tough four on him. Four, three wounds with AP minus two. So three, four ups. I make one of them. 2d6 damage for four. Um, I'm sorry, 2d, 2d3, so for four. All right. So I think he's just within range for the... Uh, what, what is his range? Three? It might be three. Well, if it's three, he's just within range. Okay, so... If it's not three, it's six, so... Yeah. Six up! Fail three. And that's he's it. dead. Okay, don't need a final last cannon, Adam. No, you do not. Six heavy bolter shots into the now with wall banner. Get on fours. Ah, Miss Cadian! <laughs> <laughs> Wounding on threes. All wounded. AP minus one. So that's going to be four or five ups. All right. Four or five ups. Four. I made one. And three going through. Uh, he's, he's probably dead, but he's dead. Okay. And that's, just for reference sake, that second roll was the Pain Boys yep. tools, Doc's tools. Okay, um, and then now the Punisher. Punisher cannon into uh, Pain Boy. Last cannon into Plasma into the Weird Boy. All right. So starting off with the Punisher part of the Punisher tank, 40 shots, groups of 20, hitting on fours. Eat misses from so the first 12. Call. Misses from the first volley. Second volley. All right, and that's nine misses from the second volley. Okay, so a total of... 11 and 12, so 23. 23. Yep. And then wounding on threes, because you're only tough four. Ugh. That's a lot of ones and twos in that grouping right there. Well, grab three of them and roll them again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine, ten wounds, and then the three extra, which all wound. So nice. 13 wounds on the pain boy. All right, 13 six ups. Okay, well, I made two, so 11 six ups. Oh, good, I made three. He's dead. Yeah, he's super dead. And uh, he becomes a mulch paste. All right, your plasmas. Yep, I'll do the spawns and plasmas into the weird boy next. 2d3 number of shots. Uh, I will not supercharge. Oh, why not? Because mm -hmm. I really don't have to. No, you really don't. So that is going to be a total of five shots. I mean, to be fair, I could have. Because I could repair any damage that I dealt to myself. Yeah. Send a dice across the room. 
Alright, and these are going to be wounding on threes. Yeah, should have. Look at all those twos. Ooh. So, that's only two. Uh, ignore your armor, EP minus three. Yeah. And I don't think he has a built-in invul. I don't believe so, no, he does not. Okay, so there's just one damage of pops. Oh, okay, so he took two. Mm -hmm. And then the last cannon, hitting on a four. No. Mm. Weird boy's still alive. He is, in fact, still alive, but... Uh, is anyone charging? No. Do, do, you want to, do you want to charge with your tank? No. I, even if I did, it's a long ball charge. He has no guns. No, that would be kind of pointless anyway. I don't have the point to do... Uh, Crush them. Oh, okay. So, well, GG. <laughs> you, you've got a weird boy in a truck with two wounds. Yeah, GG. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> uh, this, this was a test to see how actually viable this particular uh, flavor of orcs was. Um, I used a similar list in my 5,000 point game and wanted to see how it would do standalone. The answer is uh, versus guard, not well. No. <laughs> you either need a lot more mega knobs yes. or a lot. <laughs> or, or, or a mech. Or a mech or you need something else. Yeah, it, it needs something else to take pressure, pressure off. off the one big group of boys. Yeah. That honestly should be hiding behind something and then just dropped in. But I just... For the cover I picked, I didn't have any good locations to hide them and drop them. And you did technically have a decent chance turn one to make that charge. Yes, I just and, failed it. Yeah. If you had made that charge, that would have been a big difference. Absolutely. They would have gotten in and done something, maybe even gotten your uh, your tank. Maybe, maybe not the tank, but at least tied it up for a turn. Yeah. Which would have saved the, um, boy, the biker boys. Yeah. I like how nonchalant your group over here was, though. Yeah. It's like, oh, we, we shoot that one. All right, they're all gone. Let's just move up. We don't see anything else there, so we must be good. Mm -hmm. And in a way, they were. And Yep, in a way, they were. And away they went. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I uh, hope you all enjoyed this uh, 40K game of ours. Um, yeah, have a good one.